can something as simple as a lemon balm tea actually help with anxiety? Hey everybody, Chad Cruiser here with Health and Homestead. And this wonderful little plant here called lemon balm. And if you've never uh, tasted lemon balm or you've never smelled it, um, why is it called lemon balm? Well, balm is a, a healing, uh, you know, something that heals and soothes. And so this is called lemon balm. And if you smell it, you can smell the lemony scent. So have you ever, have you ever been anxious? I have. I think back on, I was making some documentaries and editing some other ones, uh, probably five plus years ago, somewhere around there. And I was so anxious. I was, and it was actually, and I knew nothing was all really that stressful, but I just felt so stressed. It was like overwhelming stress. You just, and I even said to my wife, I'm like, I feel so stressed, but nothing's really even that troubling right now. Well, it turned out I had, uh, I had some gut issues going on and I had had gut issues for, trying to think how many years it would have been at that time 10 years roughly and the it all started I was living in another country ended up getting gut issues there and they carried on for 10 years and I had gone through some stress and depression um, but I was going through stress particularly at that time I'll tell you more about how I overcame that uh, with the science of the gut brain connection it literally changed my life that science that research that is now out on that it literally it literally transformed revolutionized my life i'll do a series of videos on that in the future but right now the reason i'm doing this is because i have lemon balm growing in my garden it's not that big right now it's kind of uh, wimpy and pathetic and we have kind of weak soil here but um, you do what you can and hopefully every year on your homestead you get better and better your soil will continue to you'll help to revive the soil through your efforts and natural methods but nevertheless have you felt anxiety this could be a simple plant by simply making a tea that could actually benefit you now does it actually work though see here's the thing as I said in other videos I am not someone who believes that because something is natural and because it's called a natural remedy that it works there are certain natural remedies that have been tested and they find out have no benefit whatsoever some of them that are claimed to be beneficial actually are detrimental to your health so just because something is said to be healthy doesn't mean that it actually is and so you want to base your understanding of the world on facts, on data, on evidence that you can find. And um, it's good to have a good reasoning for what you believe. I'm a firm believer in that. And so talking about this, this plant right here, Melissa officinalis, this plant, also called lemon balm, let's actually dive into research on this particular subject. So here's a study here, and research had already shown that lemon balm or melissa officinalis has a calming and mild sedative effect but no study had yet been conducted to actually cause stress to patients to see how lemon balm could alleviate the stress so in this study uh yeah okay it had shown that it had a calming effect so a, a mild sedative effects might, might be something good before bedtime you know you're getting ready for bed and the great thing about it is it tastes good too i mean just just the scent of it is to me honestly this is like one of the top 10 smells uh this there's a flower called daphne and i was just thinking of another one recently oh yeah um another one is Moldavian balm smells real great, but those are like three of my top 10 best favorite smells, best smell, smells. That sounds like when I was like four years old, but, but here's the thing. So one of the other ones um, is National Geographic. Uh, well, s some archeologists said they were excavating a tomb in Egypt and they found a pot that was, or some kind of jar that was a perfume jar and they went and analyzed the jar. They found the original natural components that were in it, and then they added them together to make a modern perfume that smelled like this ancient perfume from Egypt, and that was one of the top 10 too. And I'm not a, perf just, just so you know, I'm not a perfume, like I don't really, most perfume to me is like, I just don't like the real fake smells. Uh, if, if you do, no judgment here. I'm just, just telling you, I like natural smells. But the reason the Egyptian one was so nice is because it smelled so good, and I think part of the smell, I don't know if it was this, but it had kind of a lemony scent to it mixed in. And um, 
that's why it smelled so good to me. But back to the point. So in this study, uh, they've already, they, they had already found out that it does have a mild calming effect. But in this particular study, what did they do? They actually did something to annoy the people so that they would be stressed to see if it actually worked. And what did they find? So researchers in a placebo-controlled, double-blind crossover study tried two different doses of lemon balm extract, 300 milligrams and 600 milligrams, against placebo in a lab-induced stress on the participants. So these people, they're annoying them in some capacity. And what was the result? Well, the result was that while taking 600 milligrams of lemon balm, they had an increase in calmness during the stressor, but they also had less alertness. So would you like to be less alert? Do you sometimes think, man, I'm just, my mind's too sharp. I need to be a little bit more dull. Well, then no, you probably never have <laughs> thought that. At least I hope you haven't. And if you have, don't cover it with some kind of drug or alcohol. It, it doesn't help the problems. You want to actually learn to overcome in a better way. So don't try to dull or stupefy the mind. It's, it's not good for you. It's not healthy for you. But what did they find? Let's go further. While taking the 300 milligrams of lemon balm, they enhanced their speed in mathematical processing without lowering their accuracy. So they didn't have that mind-numbing effect of having too much. See, and that's the other thing too. As, as we're looking at the research on these things, you're finding that you want to know maybe not only does it work, but at what capacity. Because my wife says, I've said this before, my wife always says, my husband is the kind of guy he thinks if one is good, 10 is better. And uh, I've found out that it's not. You sometimes hurt yourself by overdoing it. So it's much better to find out the optimal dose and using that much and not overdoing it. And that is also true. That's, that's what's called being temperate. Uh, to be moderate in those things that are good and to avoid the things that are bad. That's being truly temperate. Not moderation in all things, like not moderation in meth, meth you know? No, like you just avoid meth, but you're moderate in the good things. And so, listen, a simple thing you can do, especially uh, as right now we're moving toward fall. We've already had our first frost, but it didn't really do much damage to anything in the garden, which, uh, praise God for that. But nevertheless, uh, we have had it. So we're moving toward those fall months and man, to, to sit at home, sit around the fire and, and have a nice cup of lemon balm. You can simply pluck it up from the, from the earth here, hang it upside down in the basement. You know, a couple weeks, you'll have perfectly dried lemon balm ready for harvest. You, you could use even the fresh one, but so that you can save it through the winter months uh, until hopefully next spring. I'm not going to get any seed. It doesn't look like this year. And so, uh, but I'll at least have some of the herb here. But hey, Try some of this, even, even if uh, you're not stressed. It's just a fantastic tasting tea. Now, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. It helps us out a lot. Also, the like button also helps us. God bless and have a fantastic day.